Hey, welcome to World Code Updates. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates. The news broke like a sonic boom across the Pacific, echoing in headlines, newsrooms, and military circles from Manila to Seoul. The Philippines is now in advanced talks for the local assembly of the cutting-edge KF-21 fighter jet, a move that could redefine the nation's defense landscape. This wasn't just another military purchase, it was a bold declaration of intent, a signal that the Philippines is ready to step onto the world stage as a serious player in aerospace and defense. For the first time in its history, the Philippines aimed to assemble advanced fighter jets on its own soil, marking a monumental leap in technological ambition. The deal promised more than just new aircraft. It meant building a final assembly line and establishing a full maintenance, repair, and overhaul hub right in the heart of the Philippines, creating new jobs and opportunities for local talent. Filipino engineers would soon be piecing together the KF-21 Boramai, a next-generation fighter jet that rivals the world's best and learning skills that could spark a new era of innovation. This leap forward would transfer high-end aerospace technology and skills, transforming not just the military, but the entire industrial future of the nation, and opening doors to global partnerships. For the Philippine Air Force, having locally assembled, state-of-the-art fighters would be a game-changer, boosting morale, pride, and operational capability. It would dramatically enhance the country's ability to patrol its vast maritime territories, protect its sovereignty, and send a clear message to potential adversaries that the Philippines is ready to defend its skies. The roar of a Borame taking off from a Philippine airbase would mark a new era, one defined by self-reliance, technological prowess, and national pride. By the end of the decade, a Filipino-built fighter jet could be soaring through the clouds, inspiring a new generation of dreamers, engineers, and pilots to reach even higher. The KF-21 deal is about more than acquiring jets. It's about building a future where the Philippines commands its own destiny and stands tall among the world's aviation leaders. This is the dawn of a new age for Filipino air power a moment when dreams take flight and the nation's ambitions soar sky-high. The KF-21 deal marks a pivotal turning point, not just for South Korea's defense industry, but for its role on the global stage. For years, South Korea has steadily built its reputation as a reliable and innovative defense partner. Korea Aerospace Industries has already built world-class aircraft, such as the F-A-50 and T-50 trainers. But co-producing a next-generation fighter jet with another nation is a significant leap forward, showcasing Korea's growing technological prowess. This bold move elevates South Korea into an elite group of nations, sharing advanced aerospace technology and forging long-term industrial partnerships that go beyond simple sales. By enabling countries like the Philippines to participate directly in manufacturing and assembly, Korea builds deeper, more resilient alliances that are based on shared expertise and mutual benefit. This collaborative strategy makes Korean defense products far more attractive than traditional off-the-shelf competitors, offering customization and local involvement. The Boramai, equipped with cutting-edge AESA radar and a stealthy design, stands as the crown jewel of Korea's technological journey and ambition. Sharing this advanced technology signals Seoul's confidence in its capabilities and further strengthens its alliance with Manila, building trust and strategic cooperation. By embedding its technology and expertise in partner nations, South Korea secures future markets, influence, and a leadership role in regional security. The Philippines could soon become a Southeast Asian hub for Korean aerospace innovation, opening doors for further sales, technology transfers, and new joint ventures across the region. South Korea is no longer just an arms dealer. It's now an architect of global defense capabilities, shaping the future of international security partnerships. The KF-21 story began with Indonesia as a key partner, promising funding and local assembly. But financial delays and shifting priorities in Jakarta created uncertainty and friction. The experience taught South Korea the importance of financial stability and clear commitment in international defense projects. Indonesia's struggles highlighted the challenges of joining a high-risk R&D project from the start. In contrast, the Philippines learned from the sidelines, waiting for the program to mature. Today, Indonesia remains a partner, but with a reduced role. 
The less than successful partnerships require solid financial footing and executable plans. The Philippines now seeks a more stable, post-development collaboration model. The Philippines' approach to the KF-21 is a masterclass in strategic patience, showing how careful timing can be just as important as ambition in defense planning. Rather than jumping in during the risky and expensive R&D phase, Manila chose to wait for a proven, flying platform, one that had already overcome its biggest technical hurdles. Now, the country's investment is focused directly on acquiring advanced jets and building up its own local industrial capacity, skipping the uncertainty of early development. This smarter allocation of resources ensures every peso is maximized, channeling funds into finished aircraft, new factories, and the creation of skilled jobs for Filipinos. By joining the project after design finalization, the Philippines secures industrial benefits and technology transfer without the headaches and risks of early-stage setbacks. The negotiation is now about co-producing a finished, reliable product, not about co-developing untested technology from scratch. KAI provides not just blueprints, but also detailed manufacturing processes and hands-on training, empowering local assembly and future maintenance. This de-risked, step-by-step model is far more attractive and manageable for the Philippines, allowing for steady progress and clear milestones. With the KF-21 in high demand, the Philippines can negotiate favorable terms, leveraging its strategic alliance with Seoul for both security and economic gains. As South Korea expands its production footprint, the Philippines gains not only a state-of-the-art fighter, but also a modern industrial base and new opportunities for its workforce. It's a pragmatic, intelligent approach that delivers immense value for Philippine defense and industry. Sometimes, waiting and watching the market truly pays off. The KF-21 Borame is a four-and-a-half-generation fighter, bridging the gap between legacy jets and true stealth aircraft. Its stealth-influenced design and future internal weapons bays reduce radar visibility, giving pilots a crucial edge. The advanced AESA radar tracks multiple targets with speed and resists jamming, while IRST allows passive threat detection. The Philippines is eyeing the Block II variant, a true multi-role fighter with enhanced stealth and strike capabilities. This single platform offers both air defense and ground attack roles, with lower costs than 5th gen rivals. Open architecture avionics make upgrades and local integration easy, ensuring long-term adaptability. The Boramai's design means the Philippine Air Force gets a fighter that can evolve with future threats. It's a forward-thinking investment in air power. The KF-21 deal is driven by rising tensions in the Indo-Pacific, especially in the South China Sea. For the Philippines, defending its vast airspace and maritime domain is a national imperative. Locally assembled KF-21s would provide a powerful deterrent and rapid response capability. These jets would force adversaries to think twice before challenging Philippine sovereignty. The program is central to the armed forces' modernization, aiming for true self-reliance. Local assembly and MRO ensure operational readiness, even in crisis. A stronger air force also boosts the Philippines' value as a regional security partner. The KF-21 is more than a weapon. It's a key to a more influential role in the Indo-Pacific. The KF-21 agreement could ignite an industrial revolution in the Philippines. Building a final assembly line means new facilities, advanced machinery, and thousands of high-tech jobs. A local supplier ecosystem would emerge, stimulating growth across multiple industries. Aerospace standards would elevate the entire manufacturing base. Training centers, developed with KAI and local universities, would create a new generation of Filipino aerospace experts. This educational investment is the foundation for a sustainable, self-reliant industry. The long-term vision transformed the Philippines into a regional aerospace hub, producing components and servicing aircraft for the region. This is a strategic investment in the nation's industrial future. The economic impact of the KF-21 deal is transformative. A local MRO hub slashes life cycle costs and keeps spending within the Philippine economy. The hub could serve other Southeast Asian air forces, generating revenue and skilled jobs. Filipino companies could join the global aerospace supply chain, exporting components worldwide. Every job on the assembly line supports many more in the community. 
the influx of technology and investment boosts productivity and wages. This is more than a defense project. It's a national economic development strategy. The KF-21 could become a pillar of the Philippine economy for generations. Picture it. A Philippine-built KF-21 Boramai takes flight, the product of Filipino skill and ambition. This moment marks the nation's transformation from buyer to builder, erasing old narratives of dependency. It's a symbol of national pride, self-reliance, and a new era in air power. The partnership with South Korea deepens, built on shared creation and mutual respect. The KF-21's success could inspire future collaborations and strengthen regional ties. As the Borame soars, it carries the hopes of a nation and signals the Philippines' arrival on the world stage. The sky is no longer the limit. It's just the beginning.